Hi everyone, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here at Starfire with the Sounders finished training. They're preparing to face the Chicago Fire and the return of Freddie Lundberg. Freddie uh, played a, a big part in, in helping us launch the franchise. It was a big signing, but you know now he plays for the for the enemy, and and uh, you know our focus is on our our team and and uh, how we beat he and Chicago on Saturday. Lundberg was named to the MLS Best 11 after helping Seattle reach the playoffs with two goals and nine assists in his first MLS season. He was traded to the Chicago Fire on July 30th, and he has three assists in four matches since the trade for a Chicago team that has burst into playoff contention. His return to Quest Field will certainly be a big event for the 36,000 in attendance and should add a different element on the field as well. You know, his return certainly adds something to the game because, you know, Freddie's going to want to play very well, you know, and do well in this particular game, and our guys are going to want to play well against him. Obviously, it'll be, you know, handshakes and hugs before the game, but when the game starts, obviously, we're trying to get three points um, any way possible. Lundberg is one piece to a Chicago team that has gone on a run of success with a 2-1-1 one one record since Lundberg's arrival. There's a lot of good players on the team, you know, who Sidic has had a good year so far, but certainly Marco Papa is a dangerous player because he's a left-footed guy who likes to play on the right and come inside at times. Uh, Kalen Carr certainly has come off his injury and has been very dangerous and very effective, so there's a lot of there's a lot of danger there. You know, if we take care of our business and play the way that we can, we like to press the game at Quest. Um, obviously get balls in the box, um, you know, we're creating chances and we just want to be able to be clinical and effective on those chances um, and have those, you know, chances be quality and not quantity. The Sounders have had some success of their own going unbeaten in MLS play since July 4th, a stretch of six matches that has Seattle at a 4-0-2 clip. They also haven't allowed a goal in MLS play in the last 351 minutes. Despite two losses in Champions League play since their last league match, they feel they have maintained their momentum. Yeah, we still on the run. I feel that we still don't lose some momentum. It's just that we lost the game, but we still play good, some good soccer, and uh, I think we learned a lot from last night. Playing CONCAF is definitely different. I mean, you're adjusting to so many variables and different types of referees, uh, different types of surfaces. Um, you know, we outshoot a team 17 to seven, and they still lose, you know, 2-0. So it just, it just lets us know that you know we still have that that extra bit of quality to to kind of improve on. One final piece of news, Thursday afternoon the club learned that they will host the U.S. Open Cup final if they can advance past Chivas USA next Wednesday. While that may be an advantage in the final, it doesn't change anything about the task directly in front of the Sounders FC. It doesn't change anything from the standpoint that we want to defend our, our championship, you know, and then, you know, I think it's been a while, I haven't looked it up yet, but I think it's been a while since the team won it two years in a row. Uh, so it would be nice to add, add that accomplishment to us. Kickoff is set for 7.30. The march to the match will start from Occidental Park at 6.30. You can watch the match live on Kong 616 or 97.3 Cairo FM. We look forward to seeing you at Quest Field. I'm Matt Gash for SoundersFC.com.